Hey, Pete. I thought I'd record some cigarettes. So let's go. New game. Um, it's funny actually because <clears throat> the <clears throat> game I played immediately after the vlog I did towards the end of December there, I ended up um, winning the game and unlocking uh, three new characters. So I unlocked Menzi. Um, so he doesn't actually get mana gems and potions. Uh, I'll grab. He's just good with alchemy and the Templar who gets energy from killing things. And I think I might have a play with the Templar, but I'm also not that far away from getting uh, the final character, which requires 5,000 enemy deaths. Um, yeah, so it seems to have kept all my progress from when I was playing uh, normal. Uh, not normal, the beta. Anywho, let's jump in. I've challenged it 17 times, I feel like I've done it more than that. Okay, so Templar has a different wand. Which is cool. And this is Ember, I love Ember. Ember's nice. So this is kind of a slow firing wand, but it shoots four at a time. So. More of a tight shotgun. What up, chickens? Oh. Try not to get myself in a corner. And cheese. So I do have my other spell there, but I don't like to use. Um, the other spell unless I absolutely have to, usually for bosses or something on the first couple of floors. Um, and in the meantime, I'm quite happy with just using my wand. Because you have limited mana for the other things, and the first floor doesn't seem to give you a lot of mana. Enemies don't seem to drop a lot of mana. This is going to be pretty difficult though, because I took more damage than I got back from killing things that time. We'll see how the other rooms go though. That was pretty derpy on that room. Another large room. Tougher enemies. Okay, so maybe I won't be less derpy. I hate these things. Again, there are like a lot of these enemies um, kind of I feel like they take a lot of inspiration from other older FPS like the flying skulls I mean if you've ever played Doom uh, you would know that they take a lot of inspiration from Lost Souls which are basically skulls that charge at you like those guys are doing I would really like this experience before it decays that's the annoying thing about these poison chickens, is that they um, make puddles of gross stuff that you can't stand in, and unfortunately it sits around underneath items and can cause them to decay before you can pick them up. And apparently that's the shortcoming of this wand, is that if I'm too accurate, they fly straight through the middle of it. Got a level. Uh, haste. Oh, he starts with mana steel. Right. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, I'll go for maximum mana steel. Five is the max of most talents I've noticed so far. Oh, that's the boss, and I don't have the key. And I haven't seemed to get any level where I'm not fighting King Blob on the first level, which is interesting because back in the beta you could fight a couple of different bosses on the first level. This room is simple, you just need to keep circle strafing. Ow. My hubris got the better of me. Creed, rather. Ow! Excuse me. 
Yeah. I am regaining health though. So that's okay. Another large room. With banshees. Of course. So I think I might just... Flying enemies on a room with strange shapes like this one. Generally <laughs> a pain in the butt. I'm out of here. I'm not getting a lot of life steal out of these guys. It must be like a chance thing. This is, this is the first time I'm playing Templar, I don't really know the mechanic. See, I got it out of that guy. Maybe Undead don't give you life back. Which makes this room even worse. Another level? Oracle or life awareness? I like Oracle because I hate divine punishments. Uh, shrines are a new thing since Beta and they can be really cool, like give you new weapons and things, but they can also punish you and make you weaker for the next fight or take health from you or... and you, you're usually giving away stuff to get the benefit in the first place, right? So you just spent 34 health or whatever to get nothing. Or worse than nothing. So that takes away that risk. Health potions do drop on this guy. Okay. Ugh. Mm, I thought I could fit through that gap. And I'm doing real bad. Real bad! What is my amulet? Please and thank you. Okay, so basically just mana. Oh, and I got a weapon for it. Yes! I love this. It's like the sniper rifle of this game. Secondary fire seems to do exactly the same as primary fire, but slower? Not sure what that's about. Maybe it's just more damage. Let's look at the map. I keep forgetting I can sprint as well. <laughs> Because the thing about sprinting is, um, like, I'm sprinting around now, but as soon as I shoot, I stop sprinting. So I kind of forget that that is a thing that I can do. I should get into the habit of it for uh, video purposes. The thing about Zagrat is it takes a bit longer than 30 minutes, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm probably going to go until I die. The format for this game anyway will be go until I die or win, uh, so the video will be longer than normal sometimes. Uh, provided. Where is the boss? There is the boss. Hm, running for a candle spots about. Sweet. Left. Right. Boss time. And this is King Blob. You can tell who you're going to fight from the layout of the room, by the way. Uh, this one happens to have a large amount of water around it. And that's kind of what gives that away. Right. Everyone's dead and we can move on. And I reach level 4. Hooray. Uh, curiosity or warlock. 
I prefer curiosity, I think. Because that gives me more treasure rooms and things, and treasure rooms can give you experience and items and junk. Yes, thank you. Let's get going. Right. Oh. Yeah, I think I like the solar staff better. So I will take the solar staff. I already have a lot of mass damage anyway in both my wand and the ember spell. Uh, I'm really getting myself into corners here, what the hell. Excuse me, chickens. That was super newbie. I hate flake chickens. Like, I really, really dislike them as an enemy in this game. They zone you, if you're familiar with that term, from things like Dota and stuff. really dislike that as a mechanic from an AI perspective. Maybe if I was a player trying to zone other things or other players, that'd be alright, but because of the way that they come out in force, like so much, so many of them all at once, the map can quickly become totally unusable to you. And sure, there's patterns of ways you could run around and stuff to like avoid the map being turned into a complete no-go zone but see look at this like the ground is completely just totally unusable right now so this may be all over due to plague chickenage you forget sometimes that there's even stuff behind you and you walk into it. That room went better than I thought it was but I'm nearly dead. Um, I'm really hoping the next room won't just be plague chickens forever. Big ugly pixels. <laughs> That's a pretty cool room thing. I should really be using this against these guys. Right. Fortunately, leveling up gets you a little bit of health. Uh, talented spellcaster. Or warlock. Talented spellcaster. That means that I can use this and it'll slowly refill. So, uh, something I probably haven't explained at all is that 2 is spell, 3 is star, 4 is alchemy, and I don't have any alchemy yet, and 1 is wand. Um, and they all do different things. So when it said your spell in a head blue writing uh, slowly recharges, then it means that you get so this is one of those things, by the way, that... Um, so I don't even know what this one does. What is that? And it doesn't tell me when I pick it up. Brilliant. Um, I'm actually going to be really, really risky and do this. It was worth it, in my opinion. Got an overall mana pool increase total. I've already been doing this level with stupidly ho low health, so it's not really going to change much. This is an obelisk room. Things will just keep spawning unless you kill all the obelisks. Now I really need to get out of there. Usually there's only two obelisks per one of these rooms, but there seems to be a lot of them this one. Okay. These guys are really good. I need that health potion 
Did that guy dropped wherever that went? Did I just pick it up? I probably did. Oh boy. Fortunately, obelisks drop a whole lot of stuff once they die, um, which makes them worth killing first. Uh, that guy's got invisibility. Ew. Stop it. Yeah, I see they lost soul. Four obelisks in this one. Snipe these guys out of the air. I uh, completely missed that guy though. I think that risk with the shrine was actually worth it because now I'm well ahead of the curve in terms of my health um, from where I was. Gained 80 health from that fight actually. Use my amulet to refill some of my mana. And this is a trap room. Great. Uh, where am I going? Let's try going across. Backwards and shoot. That's the best thing to do with these guys. And pick up all the experience before it disappears. Right, where are you? And that was level, so let's take max and current health but reduce the size of your mana pools. Some hits will do nothing to you. I think I like that one best. It's probably a really low chance behind the scenes, like, I don't know, 1%, but, um... I just got my mana pools bigger. <laughs> I want to reduce them right away. Slower enemies. That's kind of perfect. This is the perfect weapon for them, too, because... It just does a ridiculous amount of damage. Skills. I think I tried to line that up twice and totally missed. Brilliant. Cool. That was a nice easy room. Um, oh, come on. More plague chickens. By the way, the secondary for this one is just more. And yes, I realize I just ran through acid. I am prioritizing experience. Uh, after all, the more levels you get, the stronger you are. 
because your um, health pool increases its total size each time you level up, which is really good. And uh, really, I want to go this way. This is a big level. So we'll go back to the start room. Turn in. Basically what I'm doing is I'm searching for um, any of the... Ugh. I'm searching for any of the uh, treasure rooms as well. Those treasure rooms are mighty helpful. Like this one. And we get a free talent. Telekinetic. Yay! And now we can go find the boss, which should be through this door. Or very close to through that door. Yep. And we are fighting... Loco! He's fun. He summons a lot of dudes. Um, most of the bosses have ads, as you've probably seen so far, but he just keeps summoning them more and more and more until you kill him. Or kill them. Trader, man, gems can fill other pools. Mm. Potions give you more health. I'm gonna go with Trader, actually. Because that'll basically mean, like, with mana steel, gems, and all that, it seems like I'm pretty much gonna have infinite mana for everything every level. So let's keep going. Our first bit of alchemy, magma blaster. It's basically a slow moving pistol projectile. Slimes that break into other slimes. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, I'm just getting. That's why. So, the miniature shamans, they have. Well, they summon carrot men for a start, but um, they also shoot homing projectiles, which are a huge pain in the butt. Yeah, we had carrot men. So this one room alone has basically destroyed me. And that's it. I'm dead. Let's see what we get. Well, that was bad. <laughs> I admit I totally, totally threw there. I could have done so much better. Electric amulet stuns all enemies. So that's um, one of those, like, press E activate items that I had. My one for this match was um, filling up my mana. So this one will stun all enemies except bosses in the room. Sensitivity. That's actually a nice risk reward. I think I would take that if I got it in level up. A new weapon, fire four poisonous projectiles in a wide area. That was a spell as well. So that's that. Um, thank you all for watching, and hopefully next time we can make it a extra long one and win. All right, bye.